Your destination is on the right. All right, so I just got some uh, free preps. I got eight cans, of, like the mini cans of propane, which those are, if you buy the two packs, I think they're just under $9. So that would mean that the, the eight can, you know, they're worth five bucks each for easy guesstimation, but probably more like $4.50. Um, well, let's just say four bucks. Eight cans, still $32 free preps and since propane is one of the main backups it's actually the main backup I have for cooking I wouldn't even call it a backup it's just the the solar of the sun oven which I just did a video on which was pretty cool cooking a pizza in the sun oven really fun I'll put the link to that video if you haven't seen it um, is, is propane propane stove now I'm lost in this neighborhood um, so I have normally, you know, I have a barbecue grill with the big propane cans. I have an adapter to be able to use the different grills with the different cans, like the, the camp stove. I have a couple little camp stoves that can use these small propane cans. And also I have a propane lantern, which is extremely effective. You know, LED battery power is my primary plan for lighting post grid down scenario. but. You know, if there's an EMP or something and everything's fried, or even just in some situations where I haven't, you know, ha had ability to generate power or whatever, the propane is an option for that, so that's cool. And then a box, a couple boxes, or excuse me, a box with a couple bags of charcoal briquettes. I don't use it, I don't even have a charcoal grill right now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to save those or trade them slash sell them for additional prep material. Also, they had this chair for free that I was not going initially going to grab because I was just interested in getting preps, but I do a lot of buying and selling on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Amazon, stuff. This chair has absolutely nothing wrong with it. It should be an easy 15, 20 bucks Insta Flip, which again, I can put back into some sort of preparedness or anything else for that matter. Always need money, of course. So yeah, don't sleep on these uh, buy-sell groups. Not only, there's a few, on Facebook, if you look up the trade groups specifically, there's usually a few that are, people give away things too. Now, these groups are just infested with freeloaders and people who will tell you they, you know, just constantly asking for stuff. Say, oh, my leg stopped working, I need you to drop off free food and an iPad to me or whatever. It's just, what? But there are people who give away things and if you're keeping, um, if you're paying attention to the group, and you can jump on these things within a few minutes of them going live and you have an ability to, to have a flexible schedule, you can uh, grab these pretty awesome free stuff. I got two propane, big propane cans, empty of course, but that was free not too long ago. And uh, trading is even more useful because you don't have to deal with the freeloaders per se, but you can get stuff that you don't necessarily need and trade it for things that you can use for prepping and whatnot at a greater value than if you sold it. So if you have, you know, like a box of old clothes, for example, and you say I'm willing to trade for, let's say, just per non-perishable foods, which is a trade I did recently. Usually, since that's stuff that people already have, they're willing to give you a higher dollar value in a trade than they would if they just gave you cash. So if you have something that's worth $10, you might get 15, 20, 25 bucks worth of food or cleaning supplies or propane tanks or something because the people already have it, they don't need it, so to them, it's like basically getting it for free, and you, you're actually getting a higher dollar value for this stuff by trading it directly for things that you will, can actually use. Now, the one caveat to that, and I've done a, a video on this way back in the day, is that barter is difficult if you have a limited number of things that you are willing to trade for. So if you just have like, for example, let's just say propane tanks. If I was only willing to trade, like that's the only thing I could come up with that I needed that I was willing to trade for, it's going to be hard to find trades uh, because you're just limited to people who not only have those but are willing to get rid of them. So I have an extensive list of stuff that I just put in every one of my trade posts. Say I'm willing to, and I point out that I'm willing to trade for anything useful, especially including any of the following. And it's stuff like ammo or ammo cans 
um, anything like camping, outdoor, survival, preparedness, tactical gear. It doesn't mean you have to say yes to anything that they offer, but it gives them an idea of all the different things. Uh, workout or exercise equipment, um, per non-perishable foods, stuff like paper plates, paper towels, trash bags, you know, any of these household supplies, um, just stuff like that. Like make an extensive list of anything that you, really anything that you regularly use, anything that you prep or use for preparedness purposes and just put that everything on there just to kind of jog their memory. And chances are everybody has something on that list, especially like the food and stuff. So if they see something that they like that you're going to trade and they don't have money, they're like, oh, I can get this for free by giving you a pack of toilet or a pack of paper towels. That's I've done that one a lot because I'll be like, hey, paper towels, I use them a lot. They're also used for preparedness purposes and whatnot, but just general life. And a big pack of paper towels now might be 16 to 20 bucks. So if you say, but it doesn't feel like you're giving away $20 because they just say, oh, I've got these paper towels already. And I'll, uh, so I'll just give you a pack of paper towels and get this thing that I want, but uh, it's actually worth, <laughs> the paper towels are worth 16 or $20. So this is also recorded on my uh, dash cam, the van tree that I've talked about before. I definitely recommend you guys get one of those. I'll go ahead and put the link to that in the description as well, but um, especially with the, the crazier it gets in terms of economic distress, the more likely we are, we are to see people do some of these crazy insurance scams or different types of attempted hijackings or be uninsured, you know, so just having a liability protection with the dash cam is becoming more and more important, you know, if there's, you know, all sorts of something that happens, no reason to list them all, but so I recommend getting that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think, and if you've had experience with uh, barter or getting free things. I know Southern Prepper One has posted about a few things that he's gotten just by being willing to go pick up, you know, having a truck and being able to pick up large loads of construction supplies and things like that for free or, or minimal trade. So let me know if you guys have done any of that and what the best thing that you've got in a trade or for free. Thanks for watching. Check out RealWasteland.com. I'll talk to you guys later.